Oh, I'm at it. Let's do a thumbnail for the unboxing. Oh man, books are heavy. They don't tell you that in school. No, my piles are falling. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marikin and this is Murray with the books. I bought a lot of books in January and I did a really big haul, but I also wanted to do an Amazon unboxing for other books I bought in January because I feel like unboxings are so much fun. I thought I would do it separate to that haul because I knew that haul was already gonna be long enough. So I've got four packages to open. I'm thinking we start with these little ones here and then we work our way to the big box. This is package number one. Let's see if I have any luck ripping these like I did last time. Ooh, okay, so this is a book that I literally saw on Amazon. I know nothing about it. I've never heard anybody talk about it, but I had to have it because if you've been on my channel before, I have an obsession with Paris and romance stories in Paris. And this is The Loveliest Chocolate Shop in Paris. And it says a novel in recipes, which also really intrigued me. Maybe there are some recipes thrown in here. I don't know. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I also forgot to tell you, the book is by Jenny Colgan. If you guys have read this book or know anything about this book, let me know. I'm really, really intrigued. I honestly know nothing about it, but I love Paris. I love anything Paris. I don't even care if there's a romance based in it. I just want to read a book based in Paris because I absolutely love French culture. Package so. number two. Let's try and rip her open. Ooh, okay, so this one is the first in a series. This is Like Cats and Dogs by Kate McMurray. So because I just filmed my haul video for January, I purchased What the Cat Dragged In by Kate McMurray while I was at Barnes & Noble on a whim because I saw the cover and saw the title and thought it was cute. It was in the romance section. I had to have it, yada, yada. Did not realize it was part of a series until I got home and started really reading and digging on it. So this is the first in that series. I also ordered the third in the series. I think it's in one, it's in one of these other two packages here. This is also, I think the name of the series is the Whitman Street Cat Cafe because it's all kind of based around that cat cafe. So this is the last of the bubble wrapped packages, package number three. All right. Okay, I'm so excited about this one. This is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. So I have heard that this is one of the spiciest hockey romances. Like everyone has been raving about the spice in this book. I have to read this. It's a slow burn hockey romance with some spice. I need it in my life. And this is actually gonna be made into a series as well. This is the first in the series. Also, I'm sad that Amazon meant this a little bit, but maybe with it being on the shelf, it'll kind of straighten itself out. And I actually forgot my knife to open this one with, so let's see if I can like open it with my hands. Here we go. Haha. -ha. Here's the inside of the package. Everything looks to be in there, but what I'm no, no, knowing is the fact that they bent my other Kate McMurray book. This is Chasing Your Tail. This is the third one. Look at that corner bend. Like the first several pages were bent. Don't like that. That makes me sad. Why is Amazon bending my books? Anyway, this is the third book in the Whitman Street Cafe series. I don't know if it's gonna be a series or if it's just gonna be a trilogy. But this one come out last year. I also really love this cover. Look at that cute little kitty down there. That's so cute. The next book I got is The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. I really wanted to read this in the month of February. I don't know if I'll get to it because I'm reading a really big book right now. And depending on how long it takes me to finish, I may or may not get to this. So the main character in this book essentially relives Valentine's Day. And I think that's so cute. I love like books or movies where like the character is reliving the same day over and over and over again. And I think it's so cute that she's getting to like relive Valentine's Day. I may. I also finally have The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. This has been the hardest Riley Sager book to find because it is the biggest, the most popular. 
and I'm so excited to finally have it. I think this is going to be the next Riley Sager book I read because of how everyone just absolutely raves about this book. This was the book that I believe got him really popular on booktube and booktalk. It's the one I definitely hear about the most and I really love Survive the Night and if you watched my last haul video I literally hauled every other book he's written except this one so. And the last thing I have in here is another series. I actually did not want to buy this box set because I hate these new covers. I love the old covers of this series, the series that I've wanted to read for a long time. I was debating buying this box set because look at these, look at these covers. I absolutely despise these covers. I love the original covers of these. When I first like really got big into watching booktube, this series had just started coming out and it was kind of gaining popularity and I really wanted to read it, but I never bought the series. This is actually the Lunar Chronicles series by Marissa Meyer. I forgot to tell you that period um, because I'm excited to finally have the books because I've been wanting to read them forever but I hate these new covers. I don't know why they're just not as pretty as the old covers like look at these look at these these are so gorgeous why why did you stop making them? Let's see I wonder if I can get like this plastic off so I can actually show you guys the covers of the books but I really did want to read this series so I was like Am I gonna let some ugly covers define my reading experience? I mean, the box itself isn't bad. Like, I really like that castle there. And then I guess these are probably like characters or scenes or something from the, the books. And then you have the book covers and stuff over here. So the box is okay, not bad. So this is Cinder. And then this is Scarlet. This is probably like the better of all the covers. This is Cress. Winter, again, this cover isn't terrible, but... I still don't really love it. And then we have Stars Above and Fairest. And I believe the Stars Above and Fairest are like novella collections or something that kind of go along with the series. I don't know. I don't really like how they look together on the shelf either. I don't love this color scheme. So like I feel like they just look weird together. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I think I'm the weird one. That's everything. That wraps up my Amazon book unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, Please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and in the comments below let me know your thoughts on any of these books or if you'd like me to do a reading vlog on any of these and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>